Good morning, everybody. Still getting my final buttons pressed here. Welcome to Nikos Newsday. It is, of course, Newsday this week. Uh, as you know, I changed the names of the days, and today is the day that we do our press releases and new information and such. And so, on this beautiful Newsday morning, I am bringing, bringing to you uh, information about the property Nikos and the changes and adaptations and uh, edits that we're working on so you'll know where we are on the production side of things and this is a I'm just let me do a final little thing here i am on discord if you are a viewer who happens to have access to that feel free to jump on and and chime in this conversation is always intended to be a dialogue rather than a monologue and so the fact that i'm talking to you by myself and uh looking back between back and forth between the screen and the the, the, the camera is only because i haven't um uh, got everything finalized here i'm about done all righty so Alrighty. So, now there's formal like formal recognition and formal acknowledgement. Good morning and happy news day. This is Jonathan Albin and this is Nikos RPG. Welcome to the Nikos News Day Report. And we have a lot of things that are progressing forward. It's at, not a, not at a snail's pace, but neither is it just rocketing out the door. But we had a very incredibly successful first run of the new and improved role play roulette at the at uh, board game paradise as you may know our store of choice is board game paradise in redlands california i am endeavoring to try to get the a sponsorship from them but that hasn't formally happened yet so uh, those of you that are fans of the show if you watch this video make sure you mention it to rich that they should he should go ahead and consider sponsorship for uh, 2025. So uh, we do have, uh, well, let's let's just go with this, all right? So Nikos has uh, got has a de de uh, derived a new resource. Uh, one of the persons that works at Board Game Paradise happens to be a graphics guy. And he is actually endeavoring to create uh, a better visual appearance for the Nikos properties in terms of adding a little bit of flash and color, even if we haven't yet gotten to the point of having graphics artists or uh, actual art pieces done. Now, I do have the prototype of the cover for the master book and i'm waiting for final approvals from a couple of people who are looking it over to make sure that we're covered so to speak on its creation and uh, we utilized a uh, software prop uh, package called canva to build it so we're really pleased with the way it turned out so we'll be revealing that really soon we also have gotten confirmation of the initial print run date and uh, today is the 16th so we're looking at putting the actual is it 16th or 10th yeah, it's the 6th my eyes no it's only the 10th i'm going i'm going insane so it, by the by the 15th or 16th we should have the master book uploaded for uh, print possibility for the pre-release version and Literally, it will be the core of the material that will be in the master book, but it'll be, as the earlier properties, still devoid of any uh, significant art in it, with the possible uh, exception of the work that's being done by uh, our associate from Board Game Paradise. 
So keep your fingers crossed on that one. We did roll out the CIS and we had a very, a significantly useful rollout of it at the role play roulette session. I actually used it and I created the, the adventure template for a day spring solution set scenario based on uh, that future property. It's not even on the docket yet for its production, but we were doing some concept role play and it was, it was amazing. Out of the four players at the table, three of them had never actually played a role play game at all. And yet with the, even with that sort of seeming hurdle to overcome, we, we were up and operational and role playing in eight minutes flat. It was, it was a, a sight to see. So, um, I originally surmised we'd be able to be role playing within five minutes, but the first uh, playthrough of the test was eight. So I may have to revise upward and just to call it 10 because 10 minutes is still significantly less than the average role playing game requires for a creation of a new character and the development of the beginning scenes of a game. So that went really well. As a matter of fact, of those players, several of them said they'll be returning in particular to our game sessions, including tonight. And this is the, the Tuesday night game is sort of the launch of my week, but it'll also be included in my Nikos nightly news report tonight at 11. So I'll have information for you on how the game sessions are going uh, tonight at 11. So if you are a fan of the, of the stories, if you're aware of the iterational past, you can kind of get a, a feeling for what's coming uh, based on those reports. And if you have never played a role-playing game before and want to be a part of it, we are continuing to do role-play roulette every week in September in uh, at Board Game Paradise in Redlands, California. For more information, PM me directly or check out BoardGameParadise.com or their Facebook page, But which is at Board Game Paradise. Um, so this last week we also did another experiment and that was that I actually ran a Dungeons & Dragons role-playing game for the store uh, on uh, at their behest on Friday night and again that player about two thirds of the way through the game uh, basically asked me to explain the difference between Dungeons and Dragons and Nikos RPG and I was able to show him enough of the Nikos flavor that he asked us to convert the scenario he was in and bring that character directly over into Nikos so that was that was exciting. I got to build an adventure that occurred in the world of uh, Dungeons and Dragons to begin with, and then transit that person by their choice directly into the Nyko system. So the process still is uh, drawing rave reviews from those people that play it. And uh, I will be having additional interview shows as we did last week with both Scott and uh, Ed, that is Abletop and uh, uh, Victor, who plays Melkor in the Monday night game. So our properties are moving in that way. Now let's talk about what I was actually able to work on this week. I found a, found a major glitch in the most recent version of the Dark Shards book. Somehow all of the lines of text became associated with bullet points and I literally couldn't extract them. So I ended up having to copy the entire file and then save it as raw text. And now I'm going to have to go back through and re-edit. So that new edit is just simply putting on the headers and that, that kind of thing to make sure that it stays um, coherent and the search functions and stuff all still function. So we are endeavoring to have that put together probably by the, uh, at least in theory, by the end of next week so that we should have Master Book completed and on its way to the printers and Dark Shards, the revised, ready for edit. And 
beyond that, I've got downshift is coming up that we're, they we're establishing the final edits on it and uh, deep signs as well. So those should all fall pretty quickly now that we've got a, a mechanism in place. In terms of production currently, Dark Shards, both the basic, basic edition and the enhanced edition are still available uh, for a limited time at lulu.com or you can find the links to them, I believe, at nikosrpg.com in the shop section. So those are really the only things we have for today's episode, so I'm not going to run the extended version because I don't have a lot more to add. And watch for, it, watch for it tonight. I will be doing a remake of yesterday's episode because I found that the audio system, for some reason, was not functioning and so therefore the majority of yesterday's show was no sound so I did not upload it and so that will be rectified I'll put a revised up uh, perhaps a little bit later today I will therefore be broadcasting again on Twitch in a non-standard time so watch for that today if you want to be a part of that I don't anticipate that I'll be doing anything differently than I did in yesterday's show other than making sure the audio is turned on. Don't get me started. Anyway, I want to thank you for being here. If you like what you're seeing, make sure you follow us here on Twitch and if you get a chance, check out our extended number of videos. Somebody pointed out I've got almost 700 videos over at nikosrpg.com so there's a lot to see, a lot to catch up with, a lot to absorb and if you are also interested in being a role player and you've got access to a microphone and a headset, you can even play with us on the weekend. You, uh, This is for our Patreon supporters only, so check out patreon.com slash Nikos. And if you support and back, back us to that program, you'll have access to uh, our online games, and we'd love to have you. This has been, this has been uh, Nikos Newsday. I'm Jonathan Alvin, Nikos RPG. We'll see you next time.